Richard, I'm a Conservative, but I did pay £25 to the Brexit party. Morning, Daniel. Really Thank you. you. Right, so but I think this time you've overstepped the mark, and so have Nigel. I think you're far out of step for public opinion. Because if we end up with a Marxist in number 10, or no Brexit at all because of your actions, the public will never forgive you or Nigel. Well, look, I mean, the reality is, as, as I said earlier, which you may or may not have heard, Daniel, um, in 2015, actually, UKIP helped the Conservatives get a majority uh, because they they meant that, uh, you know, certain Labour uh, marginals uh, went Conservative as opposed to stayed Labour. Look, w we've got to make sure that the country understands, you know, what is in this agreement and then makes its choice. And do you know what, what if, 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 Daniel, if people are concerned about this, then actually, you know, we've always said we're here for a big leave alliance that will deliver a thumping majority. If people are worried about it, have a word with CCHQ and say, why don't you pick up the phone to these guys? Yeah, but Richard, you, you know that they can't do that because significant numbers of moderate small C conservatives would leave in droves. You knew that in the first place. And I'll tell you what, I guarantee you, Richard, and Nigel, if you're listening, if we do end up with a Marxist in number 10 who ruins the country, or no Brexit at all, I'm telling you now, the public, will, because of your actions, they will not forgive you. Honestly, you, you want to you rethink twice about it, Richard. You're out of step with public opinion. Daniel, and I appreciate what you're saying, and but the reality is, if you people don't appreciate it, I, I absolutely, I, we absolutely appreciate it. It's important that people understand what is in this deal, and if people are, if people are worried about, you know, if you don't want a Marxist government, don't vote for Jeremy Corbyn. You know, if you want a proper Brexit, vote for the Brexit Party. But, yeah, if, but if, 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 with Boris's, Boris's deal, <laughs> eventually we will leave. It, it, it is a form of Brexit, right? But you're it's not a form of Brexit system. if you're still trapped in a transition. You're still controlled by the EU, the ECJ. You haven't got control of your laws trade and borders yeah, short and you're still paying yeah, it short short term. it goes on and well, on and on Michelle Barnier years. said it's at least three years Daniel at least yeah, well, three we've years been, it's a, we've had 40 years worth of alignment <laughs> it might take some time to get out you're, you're honestly you're, you're, you're out of step you've overstepped the mark now I mean I love Nigel I used to have a pint with him in the Westminster Arms in the UKIP days and I love the man, but you've gone cool. too far. You, you've been too Daniel, zealous. Daniel, what happens in the Westminster Arms stays in the <laughs> Westminster Arms. <laughs> but look, you know, look, Daniel, Daniel, we, we've offered a leave alliance. Now. It's very clear. Rather than sort of arrogantly sitting in their headquarters, why not give us a call, folks? Um.